So I'm out in the woods today, and I'm really just kind of taking a break from writing my book. I've got a book that is due, well, the first half of it's due actually day after tomorrow, called The Illustrated Encyclopedia of Bushcraft. It's going to be an 8x10 hardcover book with 500 illustrations in it covering bushcraft. Bushcraft the way it was meant to be in that, you know, using few tools and manufacturing most of the items that you would use around camp and for camp and things like that from the landscape. And it's taken me quite a bit of research, quite a bit of personal drawing to get illustrations together to send them to re-illustrate, quite a bit of research on the internet to find pictures of things and through my volumes of pictures to find them pictures to illustrate of all these things because 500 illustrations is quite a few. So I've been working on that and I thought I'd come out here today and just take a break for a minute. I've got this hammock chair from Terrapin Outfitters. I've had this thing for quite a while and I've never set it up. And I feel like I owe the guy setting this thing up and checking it out. We've got a hang-in coming up, I think in March anyway. And it might be a cool thing to have around the hang-in camp just to kind of sit in, you know, and read a book and stuff like that in the afternoon. So I thought I would set that thing up today. I've taken the two tree straps and put them on trees. And they're basically just a simple loop strap, just like any hammock. And this works pretty much just like any hammock in a smaller, shorter version. And so it comes in a sleeve like this. And this is the first time I've ever used this thing. Straight up, no messing around. This is not a review. This is an unveiling, I guess is the word for it. And this one is black and green that they sent me. And I'm just going to leave the tube on there. I don't believe that there's a top or a bottom. Well, I'm going to take the tube off. I don't necessarily think there's a top or a bottom of this thing. I think it's pretty much just even. You know, something like this would probably make a really nice uh, hammock for a small child. If you had, you know, a toddler or something that you were camping with in the woods, you could probably put this above your hammock and they could hammock right in this thing. It uh, looks to be pretty well made. It's got a black liner and a green outer. And from what I ascertained from the internet, you just take this thing and string it up to the upper height you want, a little bit higher than maybe necessarily would your hammock, or maybe even the same height. But I'm trying to twist, untwist my strap here. And whenever you use these straps, it's always best to put some kind of a half hitch in there to kind of secure them. And so I'm looking at that height and thinking, okay, well, I already want that thing to be higher. Because that's going to be the top of my chair, so I'm going to Go ahead and get this thing up above eye level here and run this thing pretty far up and then put my half hitch back in it here just like that and then the bottom side is the same thing basically you take your tree i think i picked on two trees that were too far apart here maybe we'll see all right so we got two trees here that are six seven feet apart and uh again you just got two simple straps here so we'll make this our high side this time get up there a bit in the tree and we'll use this one for the low side got this real simple turnbuckle design on it to just put the strap through and lace it through the other side I like that system on my hammocks as well. It works pretty good. Whoopie slings and things like that are convenient too, but I really kind of like this system for. All right, let's get that thing up in the tree a little bit here. And then this time on this side, we'll have a little bit more rope to work with here, a little bit more sling to work with. We'll drop it down just a little bit lower here, just like that. Let's see what we got this time. Part of the process of figuring things out. I don't like setting up anything else for the first time. Give ourselves a little sag this time in there. Instead of having it so tight, it might make a big difference. Oh yeah, that's, I can already tell that's gonna be a big difference. Get my half inch in there. Yeah, I can already tell that's a huge difference right there. This thing's not quite, eh, it's wide enough for my, me to get my shoulders into it, but it's not <laughs> real wide for sure. But I think this is their standard model. But 
again, you know, not being so fancy and so big, it gets a lot lighter weight, I guess. Jade, when that happens, phone rings, shuts the camera off. Okay, so that's all right. Back to where we were here. You know, I think that this thing's just a little bit narrow for me, probably. Um, well, at least a little clothes on, maybe, anyway. But it does sit nice and comfortable. Now that I got it set in the way it's supposed to set, it's definitely nice and comfortable. I could probably lay in here and take a nap, to be honest with you. But I think it's got a lot of adjustment to it that you could make to make it fit better how you want it to. If I raise this thing up a little bit, I'm not sure what that's going to do for me. There's no sense in not trying it, just since I got it hanging up here anyway. Get that thing up just a little higher. See what that does. I felt like I was kind of, yeah, I think you got to have some sag in there. Once you take that sag out of it right there, it feels different when you sit in it. So I think you got to kind of have that sag in it to make it feel right. Now that doesn't necessarily mean that I've got to go lower with it. I could probably go higher. Still have that sag, obviously. But it changes the dynamic of the seat. Having this up a little bit changes the dynamic of how you feel in here because it doesn't feel like I'm sliding down it now. It kind of felt like I was sliding out of it until I raised that up a little bit. But having that up in the air makes it feel much more secure on my tail end there. Like I'm not going to slide down out of it. Yeah. That feels pretty good. Now I think that for, you know, the good thing about something like this is that it gives you a, a nice little seat around camp. It also would give you a decent hunting chair. You know, we talked about that whole hammock in the tree thing to make a hunting chair. This is pretty quick and dirty too. And, you know, I've pretty much got at least 180, a little over 180 field of vision here to hunt if I wanted to just sit here and relax and watch nature, happen to have my shotgun with me, it'd work out okay, I would say. But uh, yeah, I like it. Like I said, you know, I wanted to take a little bit of a break anyway from writing, and uh, these guys at Terrapin Outfitters were nice enough to send me this chair, and now that I have used it one time, <laughs> I actually can see the value in it compared to just trying to make a chair out of a hammock especially for just a short scout or a day hike in the woods or something where you want to stop, take a break, eat some lunch. I mean, you could easily, from this seated position, you've got this thing right. You could easily sit here and cook off to the side, make your coffee, whatever, and be up off the ground. So I can see the value in that as well and just kick back and drink a cup of coffee and relax. I like it. I think those guys did a good job on this thing. Again, this is uh, Terrapin Outfitters. First time I've ever set the thing up. I've had it for probably four months at least and never used it because it was winter time, obviously, so I'd never set it up. But I thought today I'd come out here in the woods and set the thing up and see what it was like. It's a very simple, easy setup, very simple, easy takedown, and it's a really lightweight package. So I like it. Well, guys, I appreciate you joining me out here just messing around today. Um, like I said, taking a break from writing my book. Appreciate your views. I appreciate your support. I thank you for everything you do for our school, for our family, for our business, for all our sponsors, instructors, affiliates, and friends. I'll be back with another video as soon as I can. Thanks, guys.